Hello everyone, let's try to be a cheat code ninja today. In this problem, we are given an array and we can replace any element in the array by splitting into two numbers that sum to it. It is given in the problem that we have to minimize the number of such replacements to make the array sorted in non-decreasing order. By this we mean that each element of the array must be at least equal to or greater than the previous element. Let's understand the split operations. If we split the element 6 to numbers 2 and 4, our original array will now become this. Let's understand the problem using the examples given. In the first example, we want this array to be sorted in non-decreasing order. We see that 9 and 3 are not arranged correctly. So we can split 9 into 3 and 6. We now see that 6 and 3 are not arranged properly. So we'll again split 6 into 3 and 3. Now a new array will look like this. We can see that our array is in non-decreasing order. And this took two operations. In the second example, we see that the array is originally sorted in non-decreasing order. Hence, we'll require zero operations. Let's try to come up with an intuitive solution for this. Let's first try to see some properties of an array in non-decreasing order. If we take some examples of them, we can observe that in each case, the last element of the array will be the maximum. Similarly, if we take any subarray starting from the left, we can see that the rightmost element will be the maximum of it. So we can say that for any two elements in the array, the left element can at most be equal to the element on the right. So if we take this example to make it into non-decreasing order, the left number can at most be equal to 4. So we have to split 10 into two numbers such that it does not violate this condition. If we consider all the possible splits of 10, we'll observe that all of these violate this condition. So we can see that it is not possible to split this using only two numbers. Let's use 6 and 4 to illustrate an important observation. Since we want to minimize the number of splits required, it would make sense to choose numbers as big as possible. Hence, we can try to make the rightmost element of our split to be equal to 4. This will give us a greater chance to minimize the number of splits required. Now, even with this split, we can see that 6 and 4 are not in non-decreasing order. So, we'll have to split 6 further. Let's again use our previous intuition. To make the rightmost value of our split equal to 4. And now our array is sorted in non decreasing order, and it took two steps to do that. Now let's take a look at another example. Here the left value 8 should be broken down into two fours. In this case, only one split is required. This is because after the split, there was no remaining portion left. As we can see, that to minimize the split operations, we have to maximize the split parts. Hence, we can come up with a formula using division operation. In general, we can use the ceiling of our left element divided by the right element. This will give us the total number of parts of the split operation. And since the number of splits required will be 1 less than it, we'll subtract 1 to get our answer. Let's understand this formula using an example. Let's see how many splits will be required to break down 10. Using the formula, we can see that we can break down 10 using just two splits. And there are two different ways in which we can split this. If we take a look at the first split, we can see that it won't be the optimal solution. Because in this case, the smallest element 2 will be smaller than 3. Hence, we'll have to split 3 to make it non-decreasing. While on the other hand, the second split is optimal. Because in this case, we won't have to do any more splits. 
so we can observe that to minimize the number of splits we should try to maximize the smallest element of the split so the tricky part of the problem is how do we figure out the smallest element after splitting ideally we would want it to be the maximum possible number and in this case it will be 3.3 .3 recurring and since floating point numbers are not allowed we have to flow it down to 3 we can also come up with a formula for this the red part of this equation will give the number of parts of the split and if we integer divide our left element with the number of parts we can get the optimal minimum value of the split hence if we divide 10 into 3 parts we'll get 3 as our minimum value and this value will now become the maximum value for the elements on the left let's go through a complete example to understand this better since our rightmost element 5 should be the maximum of the array all the elements to the left must compare to this we'll keep a variable to keep track of this and also initialize the number of split operations to be 0 we see that the number to the left is greater than it so we'll use this to calculate the number of splits the number of operations required will be 1 and the number of split parts will be 1 more than it so there will be two parts in total we'll now integer divide the left element by these two parts and this will become our next right element so our split array will now look like this similarly we'll now compare 14 to the new right element 4 the number of split operations for this will be 3 so we'll add 3 to our answer we'll get 4 parts for this split and when we integer divide 14 by 4 this will become our new rightmost element so a new array will look like this and when we compare the leftmost 3 to its new right element 3 we see that both are equal and there is no split required so in total we required 4 split operations the time complexity of this would be O of n because we only have to traverse the array once from the right side and the space complexity would be constant because we can keep track of the rightmost element and the number of operations using just a variable let's implement our solution let's keep a variable to track the number of split operations we'll initialize the right element with the last element of the array now we'll start from the second last element and traverse left using a for loop now our current element will be the left element and if our left element is greater than our right element that means our array is not in non-decreasing order so we'll have to split it into parts we can get the number of parts by taking the ceiling of the division of left by right this value will be one more than the number of splits required hence we'll add it to our answer after subtracting one from it now we'll update our right element by taking the integer division of left by the number of parts now let's handle the case when the left element is not greater than right in this case there will be no violation and our left element will be the new right element and once we have gone through all the elements of the array we can return our answer we are now done with our solution let's submit it you can see that our solution is accepted if you have any doubts or concerns regarding this solution please mention in the comments if this video was helpful please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more such content thanks for watching